Hello everybody, this is Abstract The Origin here. Um, just wanted to make a quick little video, uh, you know, in commemoration of releasing this vertical slice demo for Eden Gamma. Uh, first, I wanna just say thank you very much to everybody uh, who's been sharing um, all the clips that I've been posting on Twitter, uh, getting the word out, um, you know, and just been giving me positive feedback about the game. It's been really encouraging to see everybody's messages and people retweeting and sharing things. And please continue to do that. I uh, absolutely love um, the reactions I'm getting. Uh, so uh, I wanted to go ahead and release this vertical slice out uh, to, you know, just get this in the hands of people, show that, hey, it's a real thing. It's a real tangible product that I'm trying to bring. Um, and hopefully, you know, even with this and its unfinished state, you can see the potential that um, this project has and, you know, the ideas and, and things I'm trying to go for it. Uh, a lot of this game, especially the story, mainly the story, uh, is based around, um, it's based around a lot of thoughts I've had about uh, the contentiousness of like the US political system, the government in general, things like that. And ultimately, you know, I wanted to kind of concoct this sort of like, like out, out of the world scenario that it, it seems wild, but hell, it could absolutely head that way. You never know. I love the cyberpunk genre. I love the messaging and the themes that gets placed into these particular things, you know, just the thoughts, the, the philosophy. Um, Blade Runner was a major influence of mine, um, as well as Akira, uh, in creating Eden Gamma's world, um, and kind of like the, the mood I wanted to go for, but I also wanted to kind of, you know, add a little bit of playfulness, uh, to some of the character interactions and the dialogue. Hopefully that comes across here, uh, especially once you get to a particular, um, boss fight in, in this particular demo. Uh, <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I drew all these inspirations from movies. The action, especially I drew from like John Woo films, particularly uh, my favorite of his, uh, Hard Boiled with Chow Yun Fat. I just love um, that style of action, the way it's shot. Uh, I kind of wanted to try to bring some of that, some of that bombastic nature to a video game. Uh, not like they did with the actual game Stranglehold, that's a different story altogether. But I wanted to, you know, again, just bring some of that bombastic nature of like Hong Kong action cinema to the game while also keeping a tactical edge to it. Cause I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Counter-Strike. I've been playing, I've, I've been playing that game for years. Of course, in recent years I stopped uh, because I just, <laughs> I could I can't hang, I can't hang up a lot of the, the newer people coming through. They're amazing talented uh, players and um, you know I, but I did enjoy that game quite a lot I spent like well over 600 hours on that game so I wanted to bring a level of tactical precision and, and thought to the project to the team gamma uh, so you know enemies have weak points especially human enemies I've built this game's mechanics around the uh, cycle of jump shotting or short hopping uh, to get like headshots, especially on um, human enemies and just hitting various weak points of other enemies throughout the entire game. So if you want to deal the maximum amount of damage, get those headshots and you know, there'll be seven weapons in total that I'm planning to put in. I might put in more. I've been thinking about adding at least some projectiles, maybe some grenades or pipe bombs, things like that, just to add some additional tools to the toolkit as to, as to say. But yeah, uh, you know, the core gameplay loop of eating Gamma is go to areas, shoot bad guys, collect cash and other power-ups, take that cash and power-ups to power yourself because these enemies are not gonna be easy. Though if you wanna take them on at level one gear, you can definitely try that, it's a challenge. I'm designing this game so you can do that, of course, it's going to make things much more difficult. <laughs> um, but for those that are skilled, you know, you can do it. Um, but essentially, yeah, just upgrade your weapons and, and your equipment and then go back to the area and start just wrecking house and destroying everything in sight. Of course, there'll be some light pull elements 
um, you know, and some additional uh, gameplay surprises that I want to keep keep under my hat or my beanie in this case uh, for now. So that way, you know, I want to you know convey something. I want to convey like a very exciting, action-driven type game. Again, a lot of my influences uh, for for the themes is from cyberpunk, but the action is like Hong Kong cinema style action. So, like I said, especially John Woo films. So um, that's a little bit into my thought process. Please let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below uh, on the itch page, or if you're watching this on YouTube, you leave it in the comments in the YouTube comments. Uh, definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. I'm, I'm looking at all the comments. Uh, I'm looking at all the feedback, especially on the game. Um, and I hope that you guys can see the potential and, uh, you know, any feedback that I get, I'll strongly consider it. Um, but, you know, of course, not everything's going to make it in, you know, just being real with you because I'm only one developer. I get help from friends here and there, but I'm the only one. And uh, it's it's already a task juggling uh, day job, music and this project, which um, you know, I'm going to finish this project, whether if it takes me like five years, of course, I hope it doesn't take that long because my, my main goal here is to be able to bring, um, not, not an innovative project a product, but you know, I want to bring something that's entertaining to people. I want people to get immersed a little bit into the worlds that I create, uh, and more importantly, just have fun. You know, I'm, I'm focused on bringing fun to the table with this game. Um, so again, thank you very much for trying this out. Um, looking forward to your comments and, uh, we'll see you soon.